Hello, welcome back to uh, Max class. Uh, so we are uh, seeing on the heading uh, yeah, grade two CBSE syllabus mathematics. Okay, so last class we have seen about the addition and uh, regarding the addition we have seen uh, lots of problems. Okay, lots of uh, problems with the solutions. So on this uh, today we are going to see about the subtraction. Already in our last class itself, I have gave you the a small introduction. What is subtraction? Okay. So what is subtraction? Subtraction means what? What is the need to uh, study about subtraction? Sub, uh, the main thing to study about subtraction uh, means. To know about the balance, uh, to know about the balance, we know uh, if you want to know about the balance, you want to uh, need, uh, you need to do a subtraction. Okay, so what is mean by a balance? For example, I've already told you, but it's uh, it's okay that I will tell you one more time. For example, uh, the A have a egg, five eggs. The A is a uh, a have a uh, five eggs. Okay, so the A gives egg to A gives eggs to b how many eggs two eggs okay so in five eggs the a have a five eggs so a gave a two eggs to the b so remaining how the balance remaining will be the three will be the answer how will you calculate the subtraction using the backward counting okay so addition means forward counting subtraction means backward counting i will explain you Okay. Okay. So, what is the symbol for a subtraction? For addition, we we used to put a plus mark, isn't it? We used to put a plus mark for a subtraction. We use a yes, a minus symbol. Minus symbol. This is a symbol for a subtraction. What is the need to study a subtraction? To know about the balance. To know about the balance. What is the need to study about a addition? What is the need to study about the addition? So addition means to calculate the total or a sum. If you if I have a question is asked total or a sum, we need to do a uh, addition. Okay. So to uh, know about the total or a sum, we used to perform the addition. Whereas to know about the balance, we want to perform the subtraction. What is the symbol for a subtraction? Minus. We used to say as a minus. We used to say as a minus. Okay. Okay. So subtraction. How to do the subtraction? So we, we, we used to do subtraction using the backward counting. The first point is we want to perform the subtraction or we want to do the uh, subtraction using the backward counting backward counting so what does mean by backward counting the number is counted from 100 to 1 is called as a backward counting usually we used to count as a forward counting like a 1 to 100 how will you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 up to 100 you will count forward so in a subtraction means we need to perform a backward counting with the help of the backward counting we can easily make a subtraction so backward counting means from 100 to 100 89 so up to 1 so from 100 to 1 backward countings okay so for example i will perform a sum 5 minus 2 is equal to dash 5 minus 2 is equal to dash so where we want to start the backward counting from which number we want to start a backward counting we want to start a backward counting from the number 5 up to 2 how will you perform i will tell you so this is a 5 and this is a 2. So we want to uh, do a backward counting 5 from 5 to 2. From 5 to 2. How will you count? Five uh, Next to 5, 4, 3 and 2. So how many fingers I have levered? 3 fingers I have levered. So 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. 3 is a 
answer i know that you don't get understand by the one question so let's move on to the next question okay 6 minus 3 6 minus 3 is equal to dash so from where are you going to start your backward counting from 6 to 3 from 6 to 3 you are going to start a backward counting let's we do that okay uh, after uh, before back from backward means uh, before uh, 6 5 4 3 up to 3 I have stopped it why I have stopped it up to 3 because I have reached the number isn't it 5 4 before 6 5 4 3 I have stopped it up to 3 because the number is 3 so how many fingers I have lived 3 fingers I have lived so the answer is 3 ok let's do one more sum 8 minus 2 is equal to dash. 8 minus 2 is equal to dash. So, from which number we want to perform the backward counting? From the number 8, from number 8 to 2. From 8 to 2, we have to make a backward counting. So, before 8, what is the number? 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay. Okay, well, let's do one more time. Okay, so from 8 to 2, from 8 to 2, 2. So from 8 to 2 means what? Before 8, what is the number? 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Why I have stopped up to 2? Because the next add in is, uh, sorry, next number is 2. So up to 2, I have stopped it. So how many fingers now I leave it? 6 fingers I have leave it. So answer is 6. So this is how to we perform the subtraction okay so this is how to uh, make the we have do the subtraction using the backward counting using the backward counting so as like an addition not uh, in subtraction also we are going to see a both horizontal subtraction and a vertical subtraction so, okay so see here 5 minus 1 so 5 minus 1 so how will you perform 5 minus 1 sub in a backward counting see from a 5 to 1 we want to leave a finger isn't it from 5 to 1 we want to leave a finger in a backward counting 4 3 2 1 so how many finger I leave it 4 fingers so the answer is 4 okay okay in the subtraction we need to remember about a few things in a subtraction we, we are we should we should remember about few things so what are the things we should remember means like if a both number are similar if a both number are same then the answer will be the zero for example see here the first point in a subtraction, the both number are same. Uh, same means we, this answer is 0. 5 minus 5, then the answer will be the 0. Okay, see why I am saying a 5 minus 5 is 0. Let's make a backward counting, 5 to 5. So how will you make a 5 to 5? Before 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So, I leave it a 5 finger. So, 0. Okay. So, this is of the so same number means in a subtraction the answer will be the 0. Whatever number like a 17 minus 17, 0. 28 minus 28, 0. 125 minus 125, 0 so that any same number that you, that you should perform the if you are performing a subtraction the both number are same then the answer will be the 0 this is an important point in a subtraction okay so don't get confused uh, children addition means we will always perform the addition after 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so you will always perform the sub addition in addition there is a no problem so same number means not at all a problem in a subtraction same number means the answer will be the zero and one more point the first point what i said if the same number means the answer will be the zero second point if the number is a Subtracted with 0, for example, 0 minus 5, 0 minus 2, 2 minus 0, 5 minus 0. 
0 minus 1. So, if the number is subtracted with 0, the as like an addition, here also the same number will be the answer, same number will be the answer, like a same like an addition. So, no, not at all a changes in this step, okay. So, what is the main change between the addition and subtraction? We will see the difference between the addition and subtraction. Okay. So, what is the need to know about the difference between the addition and subtraction? Means, as now, as now, the, just now we have read about the addition. So, if simultaneously, if you are reading the subtraction, you will get confusion. So, to avoid that confusion, we want to make a difference between what is addition and what is subtraction. Okay, children. Okay, addition, I will put shortly an add and for a subtraction, I will put sub as a short form. Okay, so for addition, what is the addition? What is the symbol for an addition? Plus is the symbol for a addition. And what is the symbol for a subtraction? Minus is the symbol for the subtraction. Okay, so... Uh, Addition means what type of counting will you uh, make it? A forward counting, forward counting 1 to 100. You will make a forward counting from 1 to 100. Okay. So, whereas in a subtraction, you will perform a backward counting. In a subtraction, you will perform a backward counting. Backward counting means 100 to 1. Okay, 100 to 1. Okay, and the third important point, if the both add and are same, here no, not at all a problem. If a both add and are same, no problem. Isn't it? No problem in the addition. Example, 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Okay. So, in, in this, in subtraction, if a both number are same, if a both numbers are same, then answer will be 0. Okay, example, 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is a very important point. So, which point will be the same for both? If any number, any number add with 0, the answer will be the same number. Not 0, same number. This is, here also the same point will become any number. Subtracted with 0, then answer will be the same number. Same number, not 0, same number. So, this is the main difference between the addition and subtraction. Okay, children, now you hope, I hope that you all understand difference between the addition and subtraction. Okay. So, what is the first point? Addition means we use a plus as a symbol. Subtraction means we use minus as a symbol. Next point. Addition. What, uh, what, uh, what type of counting you will follow? Forward counting. 1 to 100 you will follow. Subtraction means you will follow backward counting 100 to 1. And third point. For both add and or say no problem. Just we have do a forward counting and make it an answer. In case of uh, subtraction, so both number are same, then the answer will be the 0 in a subtraction. So, what is the main point in a both addition and subtraction are same? Any number that add or subtract with 0, the answer will be the number. The answer will be the same number, not a answer will be the 0. Okay, so this is the main difference between the addition and subtraction. Pebbles CBSC Board Syllabus